Hello everyone, uh, this is Mandeep again. So uh, we are in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So in this video, uh, we will be driving in uh, Millward area in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, and then uh, cover um, you know some of the driving rules. So if you guys are in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, looking for driving lessons, looking for a driving school in Edmonton, uh, you can uh, give us a call. Uh, you guys see the number on the screen. Uh, you can also uh, send me a text message on the same number. So uh, let's uh, get going. So we're gonna shift into reverse, check on both sides, make sure it's uh, clear. Anytime uh, when you uh, back up, don't just uh, rely on your mirrors, you have to check on both sides. Now I do see a red car coming from the left hand side. I just wanna see which way he's going. So he's actually turning this way. So uh, I have to wait for him because he gets the right of way. Now it looks clear and now we are uh, good. Uh, we are good to go. In a parking lot, a uh, couple things you want to remember. One is, uh, you know, if you're doing any directional change, uh, you have to signal. For example, I'm turning right here and, uh, um, you know, I have my right signal on. And uh, now we are turning left, so I got my left uh, signal on. And um, if you, you know, parking lots, uh, treat, uh, treat them like a two-way street, unless you see a sign showing it's a one-way. Like um, in this parking lot, there was no sign. So it's a, you know, we're gonna treat it like a two way staying on the right hand side. Uh, now we do a complete stop here before the sidewalk. Check on both sides, looks clear. And now we are good to go. Crosswalk here, but there's no pedestrian. So we are good. And um, so far I did not see any speed limit sign posted. So I'm going to stay at 50 kilometers. And now light and screen. And uh, we will be turning right on this intersection. So I got my right signal on. Staying closer to the right side, checking pedestrians on the crosswalk, nobody here. We have a yield sign. Checking traffic on the left, nobody here. Maximum 30 speed limit sign because we are in a playground area. I'm going to change lane to maintain distance from this car. See, you have to be quick. Like you have to, you know, um, not just focus on your driving. You have to see what other people are doing on the road as well. Um, again, another sign on the right hand side, maximum 30 kilometers because we are in a, you know, playground um, zone. And uh, after this parked car, you can see the uh, playground uh, zone end and the speed limit goes back to 50 kilometers. So now we're going to speed up. Pedestrian corridor here, it says when the lights are flashing, you drive at uh, 30 kilometers. Um, no pedestrian who wants to cross, so we are good and we are uh, doing about... Um, 45 kilometers traffic lights uh, we will be turning left so when you're about uh, 30 meters from the intersection um, that's when uh, you you want to you know put the signal on and if you are going left you want to stay closer to the yellow line light turns green and there is a green arrow um, you know that give us priority I'm staying in my first available lane. Speed limit sign on the right hand side, maximum 60 kilometers. So now we are doing about uh, 55 uh, kilometers. So again, guys, we are in uh, Millward area in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. If you guys are looking for driving lessons in this area, uh, you know, uh, give me a call. We teach all over Ed Edmonton, not just in this area. So uh, we have multiple uh, driving instructors. We are you know, certified driving instructors and we have uh, another location in uh, Manitoba as well. Um, so um, yeah, so give us a call or send us a text message and we will definitely help you guys out uh, with your, uh, you know, with your driving needs. So on the next uh, traffic lights, uh, let's do another uh, left turn. So same thing here, um, first we have to go in the turning lane. Uh, so I put my left signal on and um, now we can go into this lane here. If you look at the traffic lights, uh, the green arrow, there was a green arrow. It's probably hard to see in the camera, but now the arrow is gone. So we just have to come to a complete stop. There should be on, only one car in the intersection at a time, uh, like from your side. So this car is already in the intersection. So I have to stay behind the stop line because we don't know when that person is going. 
So uh, now he's moving. Now I can pull in the intersection. Then I check oncoming traffic. If I see uh, traffic coming, then I stop in the intersection because uh, traffic going straight, they got the right of way. Now the road is clear, light changed at the same time. So that means I have to uh, go from the intersection. I have to clear the intersection. Speed limit sign, uh, maximum 70 kilometers. So now we can drive around um, 65. I suggest you drive five below the posted speed limit. And the uh, posted speed limit is only for, uh, you know, ideal conditions um, like today. The roads are dry, sunny day, so it's in, you know, nice weather. Um, in winter time, uh, you know, you know, when the roads are icy, um, the 70, that 70 speed limit doesn't apply anymore. So you always want to drive according to the road conditions and the, you know, and the weather. So we are doing another left turn here. So um, I'm uh, going to pull in the intersection. So we're going to establish and um, now we are just uh, if you're sometimes your signal will cancel when you you know when you go in the intersection just make sure you put it back on because if you're turning you you want to have the signal on um, until your turn is complete so we are just looking at um, oncoming traffic so I'm checking doing three things here I'm looking at the oncoming traffic I'm checking my traffic light and uh, before I go I also need to check pedestrians uh, on the left hand side because if I see a pedestrian crossing, um, they get the right of way. Sometimes you see a you know big gap between the traffic. That time you can go, but uh, so far it's um, it's busy. And you want to keep checking your light as well because sometimes your light will change first. Now it looks clear, and now we are good to go. There was no pedestrian crossing. So uh, that's it for uh, this video, um, guys. Um, so again, if you you know if you're looking for driving lessons in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, uh, give me a call, and uh, we will uh, help you ace your driving test. So thank you very much, and um, I will see you guys again in the next uh, video.